YouTube, what is going on? I hope everyone is doing well. So in my last video, I showed you how to completely customize the Xbox Series X. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked down below, just in case you want to go ahead and check that out. So one of the main questions that everyone was asking is, is it possible to change the glow on the top grill of the Xbox? Because as standard, as you can see, it is green and it would be nice if we could change this up for ourselves. So personally, I thought it couldn't be done, but Extreme Consoles, I will leave their Twitter link down below, did manage to do this and I reached out and they kindly told me what to do. So I thought I would put this video together. So make sure to go over to Twitter, Extreme Consoles, and give them a big shout out for this tutorial. What I will say though, is that this will definitely void your warranty as technically you are breaking your Series X and obviously if you do this I accept zero responsibility your big boys and girls so if you do this be on your own head so with that said let's get into this tutorial. So to start this off the first thing we have to do of course is remove the back plate and for this you will need a pry tool or flat object and of course a T8 Torx driver. There are two screws that we need to remove, both hidden behind stickers on the Xbox. One is hidden behind the main Xbox sticker itself and the other is behind this black sticker here. So go ahead, peel them off and remove the screws. When you have the screws out, just use your pry tool, lift one side of the back plate up at the bottom, hold it in place, do the same on the other side, then you can easily pull the rest of the tabs away. Obviously, just take your time, the tabs are plastic. I think they're pretty strong as I have taken the back off loads of times without any issues, but just be careful. So now that you are inside, what we have to do is remove the fan. It's super easy though, just three screws and the fan connected itself. And when you have these removed, the fan will slide out towards you. Okay, so now this is where the fun begins. We are going to remove this grill. So it is held in place by posts that are stuck in place. So technically speaking, we are going to snap the posts out of the holes that they are in. Some will remain full and some of them will break. So just bear that in mind. As you can see, I did break a few of mine, but it definitely didn't stop me putting the grill back in place. So just bear that in mind. So to get this out, grab a long flat metal pry tool. You will see that both of the sides can already be moved. So just go ahead, stick the pry tool down one side, apply some pressure along each post till it pops out. This does take some time and when they pop out, it does sound a little scary, but just bear with it. What I did was do both sides first, then I worked my way down the middle. It probably took around 10, 15 minutes, not really a massive deal. And as you can see, when you have all the posts removed, the color grill just slides up towards you and you can take a good look at it. So now that you have the grill out, go ahead, give it a lick of paint, any color you wish, then we can go ahead and put it back in. For this, there are two options. What I did was just slide the grill back in place, put the fan back in and let it sit as it is. And as you can see from the final result, it looks absolutely fine. But if you want to stick it back in place, I would just apply some glue to each post, put it back in, give it some pressure until the glue sets, then return everything to normal. So that's your two options. So let me know what you think of this tutorial down below. Obviously it's a little bit scary, you are, breaking your Series X just to get this done, but I definitely think that it looks good, so I would definitely like to see your results. So let me know on Twitter, send me some pictures if you go ahead and do this. So Extreme Consoles are planning on probably making replacement parts for these, so definitely stay tuned to their Twitter and definitely remember to give them a thank you for figuring this out. So as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one.